What about you? Should men, do you think men, they don't put in enough effort? I don't think it's about putting in more effort or less effort. It's about putting in the effort in the right places, which then comes down to learning about love languages. What, what are the right places? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good guys. Today we're going to be reacting to whatever you do, run from girls like this. Guys, let's go right down to this. What about you? Should men, do you think men, they don't put in enough effort? I don't think it's about putting in more effort or less effort. It's about putting in the effort in the right places, which then comes down to learning about love languages. What, what are the right places? Well, that's different to each person. So when you know mm -hmm. your love languages, then that's where the effort needs to be put into. So often you'd see men giving in what their love language is and saying like they they like to get gifts and they're going to give this woman all these gifts, all these gifts, all these gifts and say, I'm putting in all this effort, I'm doing all these things for you. But if she doesn't care about material stuff and what she wants is just like time or to be talked to or like little mm -hmm. things like that, then to her, she's not going to recept it and she's going to be like, you're not doing anything for me. And what is your love language? What, what's the love language that you like to receive? Lots of them. Um, if you had to whittle it down to the, your favorite few, aren't there only five? No, I thought there were five. There's not. There's I don't even really buy into the love language right now. thing. But not me too. But there's there's a few. There is more than the five. I have looked the, into this. I can't tell you off the top of my head. Like, if you had to say some of your faves, so yeah. What are, are your faves? Um. I mean, I do like gifts, I will say that. I do like gifts. Um, and I know that. So a good way to know your love languages are how you give to other people, because that's what I'm saying. We learned the rainbow rule in school of treat others how you want to be treated. That's mm. not right. It's treat others how they need to be treated. So often we'd be, I really like gifts, right? So I love Christmas and I love birthdays. I love giving people presents and stuff. And often I've run into situations where they're like, oh, like, I don't really care about birthdays. I'm like, but I do. Like, I love it. And that's where you realize it's like, okay, that's more about me than it is about them. Yeah. Um, I okay. Intellect, there's, see, that's where it goes into the other one is like that there's intellect. I really appreciate having a conversation. I like a good debate, not getting into an argument, but able to have that debate back and forth, um, have other conversations and open mind. So would you consider yourself more on the left, like the liberal side of the, of the mm. thought? I consider spectrum? myself like out in space when it comes to all that. I have okay, no idea. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So you're more of like a spiritual type, for sure. that sort of thing, yep. right? So you like men who are the spiritual type? Mm, um, it's a hard question um, because I've was in a relationship with a spiritual guy, and mm. I think that a lot of men that are coming into spirituality are not ethically working with it in the right ways and they're just so, doing it for pussy um I think, like, uh, there's heart something chakras, i can't say right? on here so <laughs> what they're they're doing it for manipulation we'll say yeah, i think the uh, best mm -hmm. way to know that you don't want a spiritual guy is to it's date real. one um, <laughs> um. <laughs> the whole the universe sort if of if they're coming off like oh i know all this like come hang out with me and we're spiritual in love and let me like massage on you like that's red flag. It's okay? another yeah, yeah. That's like if they're going in and they're taking their time to not date and do their work and they'll talk about their emotions and they'll cry with you. That's a spiritual guy what? that I'm interested in spending more time with. I mean, what if they're like trying to do re Reiki? Reiki? Reiki <laughs> is called? not Reiki. hands on. Huh? Reiki is not hands on. No, but it's like, they, don't they do like this shit? Sure, if you're certified body? in that and you're doing that practice and it seems you appropriate. You strike me as somebody who might be into the spiritual realm a little bit. Yeah. Summonsing some things. Who believes, wait, who here believes in, in astrology? Show of hands. <laughs> Anybody? Really? Astrology? We got one, we got a maybe, we got nothing. Astrology? Um, no astrology? I would say I'm, I'm kind of spiritual, but. S not into the astrology, astrology thing? Astrology, not. Okay, all yeah. right. More research. Got more research. Yeah, I don't know. You, don't, really. you can just say that's fucking bullshit. No, no, I, just, I don't <laughs> know okay. enough you, about you don't it. I don't know punches. enough about it. I don't know enough about, about it. About astrology? Yeah. About how, like, if you're a Taurus, that that means, like, you are, like, bound to certain personality traits and behaviors and just based on the alignment of the stars, which is the chakras kind right? of dubious at yeah. best, but... It goes deeper than that, though. Well, 
Give me a 30 minute, or sorry. 30, All right, so no, like, no, 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 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 seconds. Give Jump me a, at the building. The basic, like the basic part of astrology. So we are born with our zodiac sign that we all know, the month that we're born in. For instance, I'm born in June, so I'd be a Gemini, right? Yeah. Um, so that's our sun sign. The, Wait, you're a, you're a Gemini? I'm a Gemini. Okay, go ahead. Um, anyway, so that is only one part of our being right and it goes even past these three but the first part is our big three so we have our sun sign our moon sign and your rising sign and this would be so your sun sign is kind of like how you you're portrayed on the outside to other people to the world how they see you your moon sign is going to be about your emotions your sensuality how you kind of deal and cope with things your relationships and then your rising sign is going to be like who you truly are to yourself going to be like the things that maybe no one else knows about you. So when you're reading a horoscope in the newspaper and we read our sun sign, we might be like, mm, take it or leave it. It might not really resonate, but if you actually start reading your rising sign, it might resonate with you a little bit more. And then that goes so much deeper into all the layers. Of, it's like, you have a Gemini, but if you have a Gemini Taurus, they're gonna be different than a Gemini Pisces and so on and so on. And yeah, it could be way more than a half an hour talk. So. You could talk about astrology for more than a half hour. A half hour. Yes. Yeah. What's the whole like learning, rising so thing? Like Jupiter rising? Is that something? Yeah. So each astrology, astrology sign can be a astrology? rising. The rising is where um, in the sky where the sun was in the hor like on the hor horizon, it was rising on the map. Yep. <laughs> okay. So um, Jake here is a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. That would explain why you are so busy in your work all the time. Capricorns are really? all about working, about drive, and that's why we get into, um, right now, we're in a winter season, which is about hibernating, mm. but we're in a Capricorn season, which so we think that we need to make a goal, and we need to make New Year's resolutions, and drive, 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 when we're actually supposed to be hibernating, so we get all these people who mm. then beat up on themselves and can't meet their goals. Brian's a Libra. What would you say about, does that suit him? I'm not too sure about Libras. I know they're very generally liked by a lot of people. They're outgoing. They like to be like one. just eccentric a little so bit. So I wouldn't really suit the Libra then. I am not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm a Libra. Yeah. I am. Are you a Libra? I am. So, okay, well, if you want to get into it, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's all of our, I just yeah. learned that that's our tropical okay, yeah. chart. And if you go into the side reel, that changes your whole identity. And that's more okay. real. So all it's right. a whole thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I really like it. I love the fact that she's able to speak regardless of the situation or how you try to choose the person. She understands herself and she's able to calculate her words before saying anything. And to be honest with you, I really don't have much to say, but I just like her energy. Literally, among everyone that I've worked with podcasts, she, she knows how to speak without getting offended and stuff like that. And, and also, they were a little bit more mature. Yeah, today. Today. <laughs> today than the I feel like it's because the topic is a little bit different. Yeah, it's kind of different because we're talking about love language. And like, I'm not even going to lie, what she said is actually true. Yeah. Yes. We as women we tend to like look at love the way we perceive it. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm the kind of person that I love this, and so that's how I see the act. And the way she said she takes birthday and um, but, uh, goes to Christmas very seriously, the same with me. So that is how I perceive things, and I can of like be around people like do almost the opposite. But it's it's just how like so we just need to learn how to love people the way they want to be loved, yeah. not the way we want to love them. Because you can give someone too many gifts, or you can be all this like you see people love um what do you call this the affirmation? Yeah. Oh no, don't do that to me. I'll never I believe you. I love you. <laughs> I'm Maybe. sorry. I'm and not. Liars, I'm not. Like, that's. Uh, I don't believe stuff like that. Even when you come so. like that, at the end of the day, you still break up. You still cheat. So. <laughs> I don't really believe stuff like that. I I just look at you and I remember I like. So everyone is different. Everyone Some is people different, love those though. kind of things. Some people love art of service. Some people, like everyone is different. Everyone loves language. Is different. Yeah, I, I feel like. So okay, basically, yeah, if you're in a relationship with someone, you should know what that person likes and try to do that thing because. I know what I like, and obviously I will give you what I like. But at the same time, giving you what I like, if I'm just doing what I like to you, and you basically like other things, you see it as I'm not doing anything. 
because I'm not doing either. For me, if you are, because I know that okay. For me, I I like I like gifts. I like um I really love like your time, like spending time with me, yeah, all those things. So because I find it like something that it's priceless actually. So that's how I see it. So then I can always be there, you know, when you need me and all those things. So but the person may want something else, so you have to learn your partner's love language and try to do things for them in that way. And I don't know much about um this whole um I know I'm a Taurus, but I don't I don't really know much. Like, um, it's just this generation of like, on TikTok, everybody's like, Oh, I'm Capricorn, I'm this I try as much as you take this so seriously because when you let those things invade your life, you tend to live your life according to yeah. your and there's a spiritual meaning behind this thing. So For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The person was talking about that. He said you as a Christian, you are listening to just astrology stuff and then they tell you this is how Taurus behave and then you start living your life in that line. When you make a mistake or you offend someone, in your mind you'll be like Oh, but this is how our people do so like it's a normal thing instead of you to like change or apologize justify your character based on what a sign says and sometimes uh, sometimes you may go on a date and then just like your part like person you want to date they're just asking you um what's your zodiac sign like people like that are not serious yeah honest except that's except that's what you believe in so let me just say that except that's what you believe because me too, I would really love to date someone in my religion. So I kind of understand why people want to like look at people based on their zodiac sign and see if it matches their own. So if that's what you believe in, cool. But if you're a Christian and you're doing that, then you're not serious. Mm-hmm. She talked about something else, like the spiritual guide. I think it's a spiritual guide. It depends. You see, when they're, they're saying spirituality, they don't mean someone that is religious. They're saying spirituality ah. in a different sense. They're not looking at people that you're a Christian, you're Muslim. It's because some people will be like, oh, I, I don't believe in any religion and spiritual. Spiritual in what way? What's your background? What's your foundation? So I can date a religious guy, someone that believes in Christ, someone that works in Christ's uh, footstep, but not someone that just then, oh, I'm spiritual, but I don't go to church because I don't believe so in the pastors. Please about? sit in your house. Don't talk to me. Can't be spiritual. Let's say, like, Okay, yeah, you say you're a Christian and then you say you're spiritual and Oh they don't go to church. They don't go to church, you're in your house. They like, don't go to church but they believe in God so so much. But they don't pray, they don't read the Bible, brother, they don't weird. go to church, they don't do anything. Yeah, I know like there's a lot of things that I need to work on. But I don't need someone lukewarm also. I need someone that either like maybe you may be lukewarm but we are both trying to work. Not someone that I will have to drag you every Sunday to go to church. Oh, like the kind of so that will have to wake you hundred yeah. times when so you stand up, then we have money prayers. Nah. The kind, the kind of man I actually want in myself because I see myself as someone who is not. Uh, I'm a Christian here, yeah, but I'm not all that spiritual compared to like my elder sister and all. Yeah, so I need someone that is like you are hard up it. Let's they say like the, yeah, you are I don't there. Really so like, you're up there. I just. No, I don't mean I don't mean I can. pastor wise, nah, nah. Like you, but I take my spiritual life serious, so I need you to be serious too. When when anything that comes to God, you have to take it serious. Like do not play with it. And if anything happens to you, let God be the first person. Exactly. Let's say like I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm scared, uh, I had a bad dream. Like you should say, babe, let's pray. Exactly. Not, oh, it doesn't have to be. That, so oh, it's all cool. Let's go back to sleep. Eh, hey, cool. Or Sunday morning, like you should be not shouting because I don't like people that shout, but you should be saying, Oh, baby, I'm really late. It's not you should be eager. To, you, you, you so to do the things of God, God, basically. So, I, I just I don't want someone that has this I don't care attitude. It's very, very bad. When you say people bad. that give you gives of this I don't care attitude, you feel frustrated in life. It's not it's not a nice environment. You know, so, the people I was staying with when I first got here. The wife will wake up early in the morning on a Sunday morning and maybe only her and her last child will go to church and the remaining people are home. Her husband, her son, her daughter, and I'm like, what are they doing at home? I don't want that kind of life for myself. But guys, this was nice. This was really, really nice. The more you think about everything we said and everything we watched and don't forget to like, subscribe, see my channel. We love you guys.